Do big lies exist? We're looking at two images from the Apollo 17 mission during the deployment of the United States flag. The still image on the left here is captured from the alleged live video feed from the ground-controlled RCA J-Series color television camera fitted with a 6x optical zoom lens, which is mounted on the lunar rover vehicle here. The still image on the right here is captured from the 70mm film Hasselblad camera fitted with a 60mm lens held in the hands of Eugene Kernan here. These two images are allegedly captured at the exact same moment of each other. These are crops of both images, giving us a better view of the flag from both positions. No other modifications have been made, we've only zoomed in on the images. We can see the front side of the flag from the rover-mounted TV camera, and the rear side of the flag from the handheld Hasselblad film camera. The direction the flag faces changes between the two images because we are viewing from opposite sides. Because we are viewing from both sides, we should also see the sequence of the furls on the flag alternate between the front view and the rear view. Here is a similitude of a flag miniature showing how this works. This is the front view. Starting from the flagpole, notice the sequence of the furls, whether they bow inward or outward. The first furl from the flagpole on the left side of the flag here bows inward toward the camera. Then the second furl in the middle of the flag, which is in the shade here, bows outward. Then the third furl on the right side of the flag along the diagonal crease here bows inward. This is the rear view. Starting from the flagpole, notice how the sequence of the furls alternated. The first furl from the flagpole, now on the right side of the flag here, bows outward, away from the camera. And the second furl in the shade at the middle of the flag here, bows inward. And finally, the third furl on the left side of the flag, along the diagonal crease here, bows outward. These are two images of our flag miniature. The front view on the left, here, and the rear view on the right, here. Now we're going to digitally mirror the rear view image. This is similar to looking at the image through a physical mirror. Here's a similitude showing how this works. These are crops of both images, giving us a better view of the flag miniature from both positions. We've digitally mirrored the rear view image and zoomed in on the images. No further modifications have been made at all. Notice how mirroring the rear view image only changes the direction the flag faces and does not change the sequence of the furls and does not change the direction the furls bow on the flag. Mirroring cannot change the sequence that the furls bow, it only changes the direction the scene faces. Now, look at the Apollo 17 images again. Do you notice the problem now? Here is the same crop we saw earlier. Again, we're only zoomed in, no other modifications have been made. Look at the sequence of the furls on the flag from the front view, in the image captured by the rover-mounted TV camera. Starting from the flagpole, notice the sequence of the furls, whether they bow inward or outward. Okay, the first furl from the flagpole on the left side of the flag here bows inward toward the camera. The second furl in the middle of the flag in the shade here bows outward away from the camera. The third furl on the right side of the flag along the diagonal crease here bows inward. Now look at the sequence of the furls of the flag from the rear view in the image captured by the handheld Hasselblad film camera. Starting from the flagpole, notice the sequence of the furls have not alternated. Again, have not alternated, as they should, since these images are allegedly captured at the same moment. The first furl from the flagpole on the right side of the flag here bows toward the camera, and the second furl in the shade at the middle of the flag here 
bows outward, and finally, the third furl on the left side of the flag along the diagonal crease here bows inwards toward the camera. For a clearer view, We'll mirror the Hasselblad rear view image and compare the Apollo imagery with our flag miniature mirrored imagery. The discrepancy of the furls is now <laughs> painfully obvious because the sequence of the furls cannot change from mirroring. This proves that developing the film negative in reverse cannot answer why the flag furls do not change. Also, the entire scene would face the wrong direction. To reiterate, this proves these images cannot be captured at the same moment of time. This proves a clear, premeditated break of continuity on the part of at least one whistleblower involved in manufacturing fake image documentation during the Apollo program. This also proves concerted effort on the part of multiple actors and organizers to deceptively alter the worldview of the cosmos of the entire Earth's populace based upon false trust in mankind's self-governing capabilities, enabling automated mind control of the mass populace of Earth, whom of were overwhelmingly naive of the massive advancements in motion and still image animation and creation using only physical, chemical, and practical methods. Here is a time lapse of the remaining photo op for anybody doubting the direction the furls bow. Yeah, case closed. All the sources are here at the end of the video. Because the Apollo program faked some documentation, we can no longer trust any Apollo documentation, or any space agency, or government for that matter, or any scientific theory concerning actuality founded thereupon, such as the current widely accepted theory of gravity, or the current interpretations of spectroscopy, or the current interpretations of unidentified flying objects, or any other field which assumes a globular Earth founded upon falsified documentation and falsified observations. Because these nefarious actors still actively control the mass populace via images and information control, now in an age when computer-generated graphics surpass mankind's ability to discern them, and when government censorship is rampant, we ought to seriously consider revisiting the previously considered foolish or fake historical record of the Holy Bible and any evidence, physical, archaeological, or any other, supporting its authenticity. Do big lies exist? Yeah. Yes, they do. And ignoring them doesn't make them go away. Repent and be immersed, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, for the promise was made unto you and to your children, and to all that are afar, even as many as Jesus God shall call upon. Confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and trust in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You will be saved. For with the heart one trusts and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever trusts in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. These things have I written unto you, as concerning them that deceive you, and Jesus, which you have received of him, dwells in you. And you need not that any man teach you, but as Jesus teaches you all things, and is true, and is no lie. And as he taught you, even so bide therein. And now, babes, abide in him, that when he shall appear, we may have confidence and not be made ashamed of Jesus at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, know also that all that work righteousness are born of him.